Lord, I gotta keep on moving. Lord, I got to get on down. Lord, I gotta keep on moving to where I can be found. Lord, they're coming after me. Hi guys, this is how to play Gotta Keep On Moving by uh, Bob Marley. Um, this is a great uh, b absolute beginner song with your E and A chords. We have a capo fairly high at 7th fret so that you can play this along to the song. And this is an introduction to a brand new strumming style that I call a reggae style of offbeat chips. Um, this gets used throughout all different genres of music, but playing it in this fashion is kind of associated with reggae music. And it's this idea. Um, I'm strumming a very short chord and then muting with the outside of my palm here um, around the sound hole where if you're playing on a, a acoustic guitar and if you're on an electric guitar just anywhere near where your pickups are will do absolutely fine and you're deadening your strings um, no need to get kind of a percussive sound here it's just Lay your hand flat down on your strings just to stop them vibrating and that stops the sound. Um, if we stay on an E chord first, just to get used to this idea, what's happening is we're actually strumming on the offbeat. And that's the offbeat part of the offbeat chips, which is kind of the name of this strumming style. And we're muting on the count. So this can be very, very strange to begin with because I'm basically training you in the other videos to start playing on the beat. Um, and now I'm training you to play on something called the off beat, which are the ants, and uh, muting on the beat. So it goes very patting your head, rubbing your tummy, hang on, what's he on about here? This, this just sounds really weird. But give it a go. If you're able to do it, that would be fantastic. If you uh, can only play it on the beat, then that's still fine. You do it along to the song. But if you listen to the song and you can hear the little chenk, chenk, Cheng, cheng. That's the uh, electric guitar part, which is what we're, we're playing here. And we're going to have a go at doing that now. To a slow count, this strumming pattern sounds like one is a mute, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. So to begin with, we'll just stay on an E major, you mute on the beat and you strum on the ands. Um, to get it to sound more appropriate for this reggae style of strumming, what I'd like you to do is keep your strums as short and as sharp as possible. So play it kind of really short, really quick, really quick down strum and then as soon as you've done it, stop that sound coming out. Just give that a couple of goes first of all, you can see I strum and then straight away it's like I catch the chord and I, and I stop it from ringing out too much. Um, this is really great if you want to get into any sort of higher level strumming patterns later on. And we're just using it with two really easy chords because we have your capo at 7th fret. So just on an E chord, we're going to strum 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Okay? So I'm going to count you in, but do not play on beat 1. Mute on beat 1, stay silent. In three and four and one and two and stay on your E. Strum, mute, strum, mute, strum, mute. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. If you stop playing at any point, just join back in. Strum, mute, strum, mute, strum, strum, strum. It's really weird, stop there. It's really weird the first time that you do it. I once taught this to a guy um, and his eyebrows moved at the right time. They went and, to and, but his strumming hand didn't. So if there's anything like that, if there's any part of your body, if you're kind of moving your head down or anything, try and strum when that happens. And um, just try and be aware of where those ands are because 
if this is maybe the fourth or fifth song that you've gone for in my beginners course or you've played along to a couple of songs now, playing on the beat should be really instinctive for you. But playing these offbeat little things, you've kind of got to calibrate where it is. There's nothing definite to, to tell you where that offbeat is. So anything that can help you with that rhythm is, is definitely a bonus. When we're playing your offbeat chips, we simply strum E major twice and then your A major twice. And after the little instrumental intro in the song, which lasts about three, three or four seconds, um, this is just going to keep going for the whole song. So no structure. Once you can do it, just keep going, play it along to the record. And if you can, have a little sing-along. It's a really cool, Bob Marley's a legend, so really cool uh, reggae song. Um, let's have a go at that now, strumming along to, to me. So we're going to go strum, 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 E to an A, kind of like Love Me Do, if you've done that one earlier in my beginner's course, um, but we're going to be muting it all the way. So nice and slow, in, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, change to A, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, and, 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 and stop there. So if you can get that, that's really, really great. There's plenty of songs later on in my beginner's course or songs that you may wish to play, uh, such as I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. That has these little offbeat chips. Uh, Bruno Mars, the lazy song as well, has these kind of offbeat little chips in them. Um, Steeler's Wheel Stuck in the Middle with You has an offbeat kind of style. So there's lots of kind of pop songs, essentially, and a lot of rock songs that use this kind of muting style, which is born out of reggae music, I guess, um, because that's so synonymous with, with your, your reggae style. So I hope you could do it. Um, if not, just check out this video in a couple of days and, and give it another go. Or try another song out of my beginner's course, which you will see if you click the link in the description below. And uh, please subscribe if you dig these easy beginner videos, and I'm sure I'll see you again.